Cancers, hello, hello, my loves. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Cancers, we have the seed, the shadow, the eternal child, and the unseen. I don't know. Um, I mean, the shadow is just the idea of, of like the shadow state, right? Um, you know, it's kind of where like things occur in the dark. Um, I don't know because it just looks like bullet holes to me right now. I just feel like an old film noir, you know, like horror film entry. I don't know. I don't really do scary movies. It's not my vibe. <laughs> but that's kind of that energy there. Um, and then the seed is, you know, something that's planted within you. And, and, you know, just kind of, I feel like there's a question of like, can this, can this grow? Can this be developed? Um, in, in the shadows. Cancers, I don't know, because I, I almost feel like this is somebody else's energy. Honestly. <laughs> um... Let's do clarifiers. Um, you know, the unseen is the idea of dreams, aberrations, otherworldly experiences. I don't know. I just kind of feel like I don't know. That, that feels kind of. You ever like somebody walk by you and like breathe you in? <laughs> You're like. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know, because it's just kind of like, there's a lot of lack there. You know, like you've got to take your good and go. Um, you know, the queen of, of wands is like a, a call to action. And I don't know, because I almost feel... I almost just feel like there was somebody who wanted something from you and they like... I don't know, they thought that they were gonna plant something in the darkness and that it was gonna grow into like fruition and it was gonna be something. And I feel like, I feel like that is not the case. <laughs> I don't know, you know, cause it's just kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like this, like if you wanna approach me, you, you approach me from above board or you get the fuck away from me, period, end of story. <laughs> I have felt that way for like always and forever in my life. Um, you know, and, and I think for me, it would always play out as like, well, not always with one person specifically, but like, I think it, it exhibited itself in other areas, but you know, like the one person who I wanted to be with more than anybody else is the one person who who never wanted to really be seen with me in public. And it was so funny to me because it would be like, we literally spent, you know, like the past four days, you know, like hold up inside talking and, and creating and doing all these things. And then, you know, like a week or two later, it's like, you're standing in the corner watching me from across the room. Like you don't already know me. Do you know what I mean? Like, what if, don't be a creep. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, because, I don't know, because it feels like creepy energy. And I feel like you're like, was I supposed to be, be like, be flattered by that? Like, it was fucking creepy. <laughs> you know? Oh, um, okay. Cancers. I don't know how that could play out for you. What? I mean, like if you had somebody that you were working with and you know, like they were, they were going to make it on your team, but they were going to try and, you know, like connive and manipulate and do all these things. And then they want to show up and be like, well, I always wanted to be on your team. And you're like, yeah, get the fuck away. <laughs> Creep. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know, because I feel like there's this idea of like whatever energy it was that you were like dealing with, it was an energy that left you feel like you were missing out, left you feeling like 
like you didn't really have a whole lot of opportunity like there was just a lot of lack and you know like the best thing you could do is get away from that person you know um whatever you know I feel like somebody's upset by the word creep but it like that's that's a creepy way to be I just feel like whatever this like the shadow is it's like somebody who wanted to like watch you and and I don't know I just feel like somebody who crossed so many lines because they felt like they could just get away with it because they were in control of something something that they were gonna plant and I just feel like you could see through them every single step of the way and and they wanted to like talk circles around you and tell you how it was great that they did that and you were just like oh my god are you serious right now get away <laughs> because i just feel like what what's planted in you is is the seed of I mean, the chariot is the Cancerian card, but I feel like you're, you're moving into a place of healing. You're moving into a place that where you can, um, you know, like practice an abundant love. And I feel like somebody who wanted to steal from you, I don't know, because now I feel like you have, you have multiple people who were trying to steal from you and I just feel like, I don't know how you can look at yourself in the mirror, but I like, I sure as shit don't ever want to look at you. You know what I mean? Like, like what kind of person behaves that way and then expects to get something good from it? I'm, I'm going in the, in the directions that are for me. I mean, you've just got, you've got healing, you have I feel like magic and love and abundance and you like you've been called to go into action and I just I don't know I just feel like this is a last ditch effort from somebody to really like a petition on their behalf and I feel like you are so horrified. That you're just like, congratulations, you're a creep. <laughs> and you're not gonna, you're not gonna leave me in the land of lack. You're not gonna steal from me and get away with it. You're not going to stab me. And, and hurt me and kick me when I'm down and, and not live to tell like, 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 Oh, you're going to have a story, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the sun and the moon. I, I love it. You like cancer. you like, you will follow your intuition and you will stand in your emotional abundance and your communities that are for you you know, that don't feel the need to like steal from you and manipulate you and try and force their way into your lives to take from you what is yours. These people, this energy is so repulsive. <laughs> and Cancers, I don't get the feeling that you want to associate with it. No, not with a 10 foot fucking pole. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know better. You know better you know better for all of the reasons and I feel like whoever this is that you're saying this to like I don't feel like you have any emotional connection to this person I don't honestly feel like you ever were emotionally connected to this person maybe it was somebody who you knew maybe it was somebody who you were friends with maybe it was somebody like on the outskirts but i feel like whoever this person was like they thought that they were going to get you they thought that they were going to play you they thought they were going to steal from you and they were going to bring you down to your knees and then they want to come and show up and be like oh but there's a seed planted in my heart for you and you i feel like are so repulsed by this energy that you give zero fucks about how rude you are 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Because I almost feel like this person wanted to be like, oh, you're rude. You're this. You're that. And you're like, oh, you haven't seen anything yet, BB. But. <laughs> the judge. <laughs> Go ahead and walk away while you have the chance. Don't fucking play me. You know, I just feel like don't fucking do not come to my door trying to play a game with all the games that you were playing, thinking you're going to somehow turn it into something that is anything other than what it is, which is repulsive and creepy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know who you're dealing with, Cancer. I don't know, like who this person is because I really and truly like I don't get the feeling that it's anybody that's like in your circle you know um and I do get the feeling that it's somebody who's been in your energy for a while and I think that like this person or like this group of people have just tried to play you know like they just thought and they were up on their high horses you know what I mean I just feel like like you pop that shit and blood goes everywhere you know, and you're like, enjoy your stained blood black bath of nasty. Congratulations for hoarding a shit ton of nasty and being a repulsive human being. Bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't feel like your judge is, your, your judge is not kind. Your judge is harsh, but I don't know, because sometimes I just feel like people have it coming and cancer is, we've been hella nice and we've been hella patient and we've been hella, you know, all of the things. And... I don't know what it is that, that, that snaps for us entirely, but I just feel like whatever it is, <laughs> you know, you wanted to fuck around and found out. Well, congratulations. You found out <laughs> you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cancers. Well, if this does resonate with you, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.